but you gotta hear it though. <laughs> All of these bugs hitting the window, it's almost like raindrops, or, or right before like a hard rain, but it's not rain, it's literally bugs, and they're just out crushing the window, like... Alright, I don't know if you guys are going to see this really well on video, but you can see the bugs. Like the windshield, you can, we can still see out it, but it's it's pretty rough, man. <laughs> so, right around dusk, you definitely don't want to be driving a damn car out here. Look at this. <laughs> All that stuff you were hearing last night on the window, that's this right here. Like the window is covered in pollen right now. All right, guys, so if you saw this yesterday, you might, if you were paying attention, you might have noticed something different around the driveway. Um, now, this is being taken care of from here, tightened up by a good family friend, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is a very old school Nissan pickup truck. Now, does anybody want to guess? Because you guys know when I do my videos, if you guys are watching on the Replay Crew, major shout out to y'all. Hashtag Replay Crew in the comment section. But, 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 but. You can see the Mamba right there. What do you guys think this truck cost? Let me know right now in the chat. Sorry for the wind, guys, but there's not much I can do about it. Let me know right now in the chat what you guys think this thing went for at auction. Let me know. Let me know. Just some minor stuff in here. Spider webs. Look at that cobalt two box though. So a lot of things at auction, one of the things I like to do if you're looking at vehicles, you need to pay very close attention to tires, right? You pay very close attention to the tires and look at these tires. They're in good shape. They're not dry rotted. Somebody was actually taking care of this thing. Guys, it's gusting at like over 40 miles an hour today. Even with the dead cat, on the mic you're gonna see this stuff now I'm gonna let you guys guess why it was that auction <laughs> you see the center console or the the um, ignition and everything in here is all taken apart right so, so take a guess why was it at auction and um, I'll answer it later in the video you guys guess in the chat right now because you guys will be seeing this in real time y'all want to see the motor let's take a quick look at the motor if I can Am I not pulling the right? I'm like, damn, am I reaching for the wrong thing? Wait a minute. Am I reaching too far? All right, there it is. All right, let me show you guys this old motor, man. Look, man. This thing is a little old beast. What am I doing? All right, she's a little tricky to get open, but you can see here we got a 2400. So basically, what is this? A 2.4 12 valve motor but look how clean it is like look even the wire even look at the cable and stuff that's coming in here let's get it shaded so you get a better look look at the cable and stuff how the ground is coming in old school cap right <laughs> look at the exhaust like this thing is in impeccable shape impeccable impeccable shape battery terminals look somebody cared they're not all messed up right now this is what your overflow box and it is missing a cap so some of y'all might think oh it's got to have coolant issues nope runs like a champ no issues at all again diesel nissan trucks were absolute fines back in the day and this one is no exception in fact let me give y'all a quick look A little bit of a like a little fan rattle in the front at first start no smoke runs good no issues like i said it's a great truck for the month now the speedometer is busted all right so you can't really see how fast you're going just a couple of little minor things you know and you know theft recovery but you know the ignition 
with about 30 minutes of work was easy to get done you guys will probably see that in an upcoming video but I just wanted to show you guys that there are some things that you guys will get to see here on the channel rebuild wise and um, this is one of those things one of the other ones are I'm gonna get into a couple of different bikes we have the KZ 550 which you guys saw on the uh, story and we got this Honda Goldwing which I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff right now to get to but we have this Honda Goldwing and the necessary coolant parts and stuff for it there it needs a timing belt I've never done one I heard they're a pain in the ass we'll have to see but anywho's I wanted to show you that look they're tilling out there now you see them out there tilling they're out there getting the grounds they're out there on their international harvester they're out there getting the grounds ready getting everything set up but before I got into a bunch of different stuff I know we might do different things on today's video talking about finances and other stuff I wanted to show you guys this uh, because it was one of those finds you know I we saw one I, I think it was in Isuzu I was out in Oklahoma City and I was like you know what it would be cool to pick up one of these old pickup trucks again and just you know because they run forever man they just run forever now the other thing is the odometer is broken on this and it broke at um you can see it says basically 999 whatever it is all the way across and a one right so i don't know what the mileage is on it um no way to tell that but it is what it is it runs and drives it's just a little beater truck man but and no i'm not gonna make this a low rider no i'm not cutting it no i'm not bagging it no i'm not doing any of that it's just gonna be a little old work truck maybe something i you guys will get to see rolling the co-part i'm not going to tow anything with it obviously but it's just a little old work truck man so oh and uh yeah i haven't given you guys a formal introduction to uh the new property out here but we will get into that uh as well anyways as far as the mama goes she just got a bath today and look at the damn bugs all over the place already a couple different things are happening i got a video coming this week we're taking the uh, grill and everything out and I'm gonna spray this in real time we're gonna do a how to black out your uh, Tahoe I got to tape all this off and then I'm gonna be painting this so you guys will get to see that in a, in a, in a very soon upcoming video cold air intake and I got new tabs for this now someone said it's under warranty why don't you take it to, to Chevy look man <clears throat> after seeing how much crap other f friends and family I have uh, have gone through at Chevy dealerships. I don't think I'm interested, man. I don't know. Maybe somebody will reach out to me from a Chevy dealership and say, no, bring your truck in. We'll really take care of it. Outside of that, I'm just going to fix up my damn self. You know, it's not like it's that difficult. We do need to do another oil change on this. So royal purple and stuff coming soon. You guys asked. I, I don't know why you guys want to see an oil change, but okay, I'll knock one out for you. If you guys really want to see it, cold air intake coming on this really soon. And you guys have been saying I should supercharge it. In order for me to do that, I got to do a, a, a upper end or a top end rebuild on this first, meaning I got to delete the active fuel management. Somebody said with oh crap. Somebody said with this motor I didn't have to do that, but I just don't see how that cam, the cam in this motor is going to take that much power so we'll have to see if that's going to be something that's feasible but so a couple things are going to change all of this this whole setup here this whole box going into the intake here all of that is coming out all of this crap all this plastic stuff is coming out now there's a couple different things like i see this here i don't know i have to look at a couple different things like i see this here and I saw the cold air intake system for this. I'm worried about a couple different things here with that. But I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I've watched multiple videos on it. I'm just going to go ahead and plow ahead and do it. And see what we get as far as performance enhancements. And then after the cold air intake, like I said, the supercharger for this is literally bolt on. Like it literally comes right over here. Comes right on top and bolts on. Uh, you know, extended belt, all that good stuff. Um, I'm looking at it. It's gonna be like four thousand bucks If you think that's something you'd like to see me do here on the channel Let me know in the comment section down below 
the belts, you know, this truck doesn't have but 21,000 miles on it. People are like, are you, are you constantly checking your belts? Come on, man. It's got 21,000 miles. Of course I check my belts. I check everything. Um, it's not, this is not a very difficult truck to work on. Everybody tries to make it out like these things are, <laughs> are super hard to work on. Yes, I understand with the emissions crap and all the extra stuff on it that they could be a pain, but... It's still a Tahoe, man. It's still a 5.3. I don't care if it's an LT and not an LS. It's still a 5.3. It's a it's a 5.3 liter V8. It's not a difficult thing to work on. Coil Coils and stuff are up top. They're really easy to do. Plugs are easy to do. I'm going to do all my own work on my own vehicles like I've done. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while, then you know that's what I do, you know? But anyways, a couple of, couple of things coming for you guys. New headlights. I'm actually getting rid of these. These are coming out. And these are basically brand new. I'm going to clean them up. So I'm actually going to be selling these. They'll be gone. I'm putting new headlights in. And no, they're not cheap aftermarket crap. They're very nice uh, LED swapped headlights. So they're going to look really nice. Um, these tires and rims. As much as I like them, some people thought I should just put bigger tires and keep the stock rims. I wanted to do that. Fuel has been having issues. If you didn't know, fuel tires or fuel rims got bought out. They're not their own company anymore. So they've been having their own problems their own set of issues so we will be uh, swapping out these tires and rims these tires i think they have 20,000 miles on 21,000 miles on so if anybody is interested in the tires and rims on this i will be uh cleaning these up and selling these as well when i put the new 20 inch rims and bigger tires on this truck uh what else oh the grill we talked about that this is getting all blacked out this emblem is coming off, and I'm replacing it with one that glows. Like, this will glow white. This will all be black, and this whole thing will be all blacked out. So you guys will get to see that with the new blacked-out headlights and everything coming soon. I'm color matching the whole thing, man. Um, what else came in? Oh, <coughs> another, uh, another mod. I'm putting the 2500 or the HD mirrors on here. So these are going to be coming off. My mirrors are going to stick out a little bit more with turn signals and lights on them. Uh, bigger mirrors. I'm just, I'm beast moding this thing all the way out. The Mamba needs to be done right. And that's what we're going to be doing. And um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it as far as what I got right now for the updates on the truck. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the video. Probably some nice little time lapse footage and all that. And then we're going to get into some money stuff because I think you guys asked about that. In this video, I'll probably add it into this video. If not, it'll be the next video. You know what? I think we're going to do it in this video. And we'll talk about some other stuff. Anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, here in a few minutes. All right, guys. So we're over at house number two. And uh, we're taking a look at one of the projects that you're going to see here pop popping up on the channel here really soon and this is that 1984 kawasaki kz550 now um i know they're gonna say well you don't have it covered it this is so much work covering it is not gonna do anything i mean i gotta try to sandblast some of this stuff bring some of this like original these kawasaki original parts bring some of this stuff back like look at the chrome on this it's sharp it's also really rusty so I'm going to have to get gloves and try not to get cut. But I want to clean all this stuff up. And I'm going to try to restore it. Look at the headlight. Like even the chrome in here is peeling like in the headlight. It's crazy. It's, you know, it's not that it's been neglected. It's just been sitting outside for over 12 years and not moving. So it's going to be interesting, I think. Because like I said, putting some power and stuff to this. Believe it or not, this thing turns over. So... I think that the mechanical parts of it, the cosmetic parts of it are going to be harder to do than the mechanical parts of it. I think all the mechanically, mechanically, it's sound, right? Um, the tank has a bunch of varnish in it, and yeah, it's almost full. It's a pain in the ass. Um, but I'm going to take all the stuff off and like sand it all down, clean it up. But I think this thing is going to turn out really really nice
few moments later. All right, guys. So evidently it's another day, right? We got through yesterday. You know, did all of our stuff. Looked at a couple different vehicles. You can see some of the projects that are going to be coming up here on the channel. Now I'm going to get into a couple different things. I'm also going to link you back. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to my other channel, which for the most part used to be just all technology. I used to just review cell phones all the time. And, you know, things progress. Things change on YouTube. Similar to how, you know, uh, you guys see my, my dude Randy was, was doing the Uber stuff and now does auction stuff. The same thing. Like, this channel at one point was was an investment channel for for people that did ride share and stuff of that and stuff of that nature um and, and things progress things change and um so basically i've converted my tech channel into i may still do videos here or there about uh, whatever cell phone it is that i'm using but for the most part most of the stuff i'm going to be posting over there uh is going to be you know what i'm investing in now to be for full disclosure it took me a while to get this done because i wanted to go through and i and i did have a separate financial channel which has like i don't know 1700 subs or something and i just decided let me use the biggest megaphone i have so i can make the biggest impact for the most people so that's why we're going with the uh, i'm basically converting my tech channel to like finance and tech basically mostly finance but i had to go do some different things with two different attorneys to make sure that when I recommend things or I say what I'm investing in, I had to get like specific disclosures that I can now drop into my description so that if someone says, well, you know, TK, I watched you invest in Tesla and I saw you get an 18% gain in one day um, and I did it and I lost money and, I, and now I'm gonna sue you because I lost money. So I, I basically had to just, you know, quote unquote cover my ass legally to make sure that someone isn't able to come get into my pockets um, if they're trying to, you know, just copy me, you know, or do something after the fact, so to speak, I guess is the best way to put it. So for example, if I, if I know Bitcoin, if I'm watching the, the if I'm watching the charts and I think Bitcoin is going to make a big jump in the next 24 hours, and I think I, I have an opportunity at a, you know, a 10 or a 15% gain, I'm going to go ahead and drop money and buy an entire Bitcoin. And then I'm going to sell it the next day. Well, if you see my video three days later, and I've already made that 10% or 12%, and you jump in and it goes down, you lose money. You see what I'm saying? That's I want to just make sure I be very descriptive so someone's like, oh. So, um, but, that's that's so sad. I'm not even going to, I don't even want to put that poor dude on blast for what he's rolling. Anyways, so, what I want to get into specifically is stocks think okay so the big thing is so what do i do for a living how do i have you know these different homes how do i have these cars how do i do all this and i don't work a job uh look i'm not gonna i'm not selling you a pipe dream i'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna take your 15 dollars or five dollars or 10 cents or whatever it is that you decide that you're gonna throw into an investment account and in 30 days, you're gonna be like me, or you're gonna be at a point where you're not having to worry about paying your bills. That's, I'm not saying that at all. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm not the person, I'm not the get rich quick guy that you wanna go holler at, because there is no there is no such realistic thing. Now, that said, Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin was probably kinda of close to that a couple years ago, and I made a ton of money on Bitcoin back then. Uh, and I made good money on Bitcoin this year. So, not to say that crypto is going to be the only thing I talk to you guys about, but I'm going to start with stocks and then basic stuff with stocks. How to make monthly, like I'm going to have, like I guess I'm going to have to do conservative videos, like conservative investing, and those that are willing to take the risk and go in to hammer that, you know, eight to 12% every month gain. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let me give you a prime example. Let's say you made um, $1,000 a month, right? But you were able to make, and you put all that money you made in an investment account every month, but you were able to make 10% on that investment every month. That's an extra 100 bucks or 1,200 bucks a year, okay? An extra 1,200 bucks a year. Now, some people would say, Oh, that's not a lot of money. 
tell that to the person that doesn't have anything right now or the uh, we're about to hit probably 20 percent or higher unemployment because of all of the crazy stuff going on right now with the virus so it, it, it does make a big difference it's huge okay so an extra 1200 bucks is huge you know so i'm giving you an example starting with something saying like you made ten thousand a year. Most people make more than ten grand a year, right? I'm just giving you a numbers example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a conservative base where I'm like, here's how you can make, say, eight to ten or eight to twelve percent a month conservatively, buying stocks in the morning, you know, looking at different things, trading. Are you going to win every single day? I don't win every single day, but overall, over the end of the month, I win. Even and here's the thing. You're like, well, how can you be make, making more money now and the stock market is crashing? Look, I got in about halfway on the first day where everything was going down. And I started seeing the reports and the news and that they hadn't really been pushing testing out in other states yet. And I shorted everything. I got every every short position, every put I could get in, I got in. Look, the Robinhood platform crashed because... You know, banks are about money, right? They don't want everybody to be making a run. It's kind of like if you know the Super Bowl is happening and your two favorite teams are in the Super Bowl, and the day before the Super Bowl, the starting quarterback for your favorite team breaks his leg, everybody's going to be making a run on that line to bet on the other team, right? So don't. that's why the market does these pauses, these 15-minute holds, why all of these sudden these trading apps like Robinhood – went offline come on no they didn't go offline they were just taking massive L's I was trying to cash in on those so even if a market is in a downturn or a bear market you can still make money there's still there's always money to be made in the market always it just depends on if you're on the right side of that market so I'm going to try to show you guys that are interested in that now I know we've been talking for a minute exactly how to do that and we're going to do it on two different platforms. I, I might, I might do it through. Um, I might have you guys sign up at E Trade, but the easiest, the easiest platform to do this on is on is on Robinhood. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop a link in the description. If you want to use Robinhood, now this is I I use it to day trade, just certain like blue chip stocks. Like if I know I see Amazon was getting their head beat in for a couple of days. And Amazon's not a cheap stock. Now, they do do fractional shares now, but I don't know if it's open to everybody. Um, but, you know, I buy a whole stock. Or GoPro, for example. Uh, you know, I'll buy... I, GoPro is down. And I see it's been getting hammered, hammered, hammered. And they either have a good earnings call or there's other good articles. Because here's the thing. Most of the stock market is all about perception. If people are like, oh, it's so great. Things are going to go awesome. Boom. That stock could get a 4 to 8% increase in a couple of days and that's that's a win you go buy that stock in the morning sell that stock at the at before market closes and take your profits and keep it moving that's the kind of stuff i'm going to teach you guys how to do um, on the stock side i'm also going to get into cryptocurrencies and if you want to do um you know hold positions or sell contracts on cryptocurrencies i'm going to show you how to do that too because it's not just about buying crypto and selling crypto that you can make money you can also sell contracts now so you know buy buy and sell contracts that can make you money that's actually where the big money's at now full disclosure crypto is extremely extremely way higher risk than the stock market you say that now the stock market took a 30 percent hit but i'm just saying um in the event that everything wraps up here and this disease this this virus goes away this virus goes away in the next month or two with a i'm guessing and i don't know what the stimulus is going to be yet but i'm guessing it's going to be between two to three trillion is what the government's going to do with that kind of stimulus zero percent interest rates at the fed um the the economy is going to do what they call like a v curve right it went right down boom because of all this stuff nobody's working the economy ground to a halt you have states like new york and california locking every not locking everything down let me even say that because someone's going to say i'm saying fake news grinding their economies to a halt by asking people to stay home yes that's that's the accurate way for me to say that um it's going to get crazy it's going to get crazy folks and when the markets when stuff reopens give it two months best believe i'm going to be taking a lot i mean a they got 
Y'all got horse. Listen, I'm sorry, I got distracted. They're, they're out here. They're out here on horses on the street. All right, North Carolina, man. Um, you give it a month or two. The market's down here. If the economy is back up roaring and you have all of this stimulus, all of this, I don't want to say free money, but anytime you have 0% interest rates, any loans or anything you can get, that's free money. Um, we'll get into that. I'm going to expand on that in a minute. So if the market comes down here, boom, and then all that free money's out there moving around, boom, the market could go up and even be better than what it was before. That is a possibility. It also is a possibility if this lingers on for months and months and months and we're in August or September and this crap is still going on, we're going to go into a depression. There's money to be made there too. So um, if that kind of stuff interests you, I'm going to link to my other channel in the description down below. I'm going to link to Robinhood and if you don't already have a Robinhood account and you sign up for one today, you download the app and use the link in the description to, to sign up, you're going to get a free stock. What's crazy about that is I, again, if the market turns right around, if you get a Tesla stock, because they do give those away, an Apple stock, a Microsoft stock, any of those, that's like a free hundred and something bucks. Now, the odds of you getting one of those stocks are like one in 200, I think, Robin Hood states. You might get GoPro, you might get SunPower, you might get, who knows, but it's free. It doesn't cost you a dime, zilch, zero, to sign up nothing and it doesn't cost you anything you don't have to invest a dollar of money if you're signing up with robin hood you can literally take that very first stock sell it and use it for crypto if you want uh you could use it to buy a different stock if you want or you could trade that stock and um buy something you know like you could trade it sit on it see if it makes some money loses some money and uh go from there anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I will try to do my best to answer them in the comment section down below. Um, and or you can hit me up on Instagram at TK's Garage and I'll try to answer those questions for you there as well. Again, link to the links in the description to the other channel, which I think I have like a parody thing on there right now that I did over this whole toilet paper madness thing. So if you go over there and you're like, what? Yeah. And uh, I think I did something about the Galaxy S20 over there now. But I will be dropping different videos on that. Also, I do videos on how to fix your credit for free. Don't pay anybody ever to fix your credit. It's a scam. Hey, do it your damn self. It costs you a couple postage stamps. Um, or you can even do it online. Do the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau. If that kind of stuff interests you on how to fix your credit, how to get trade lines, how to, um, you know, get lines of credit, get credit cards, be able to trade in the market, do all of that stuff. Um, my record is pretty impeccable. People that will tell you that from the other channel that I've helped out as far as credit, I've helped, I've helped people get their own cars, um, you know, help them get their first credit card, all kinds of stuff like that. You'll see comments like that on my other Twitter or my other Instagram and people might be people, people, people that watch my other channel, watch me here too. So they might be able to come right here in my comments and tell you the same thing. They're going to, they're going to tell you the same thing. But uh, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in learning how to make money from home or why you're on your other job or why you're doing Uber or why you're doing something else, because you're kind of, you're stuck right now. You, you got, there's nothing you can do. You're at home um, and you want to learn about trading stocks. Then click that link in the description. Go subscribe over there to my other channel and uh, click the Robinhood link in the description if you want a free stock. It's that simple. Um, yeah. And maybe I'll do a, a tutorial or something private or unlisted here for people that want to be into it uh, as well. I don't know. This is more automotive stuff, but you guys have been asking, asking, asking me about it. So that's the only reason I talked about it here today. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Um, I'll try to answer some more of them in the comments if you have them. But uh, yeah, until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.